This is a Frosty, and this is a Frosty. They're both sweet, but only one is delicious, only one is vegan, and one is way better than Wendy's. Let me just say that this Frosty Frosty is the treat of the summer. When I recipe tested this a few weeks ago, I knocked it right out of the park on the first try, just saying. But it was a huge hit with the family. And since then, I have made this at least three or four times. I mean, it is that delicious and it's super simple. So what I have here is I have two cups of oat milk and you can use any kind of plant-based milk that you want. I'm using oat milk because I love that scene in Frosty the Snowman where the kids are trying to come up with an idea, come up with a name for the snowman that they just built. And one of the kids yells out, oatmeal. And so I think that there's good synergy with that, right? <laughs> Anyways, two cups, you use whatever plant-based milk you want. I'm using the oat milk, unsweetened. And then you'll use half a cup of chocolate syrup. I know, half a cup, that just seems like a lot, but it's delicious and this is a summer treat. And you can use whatever kind of chocolate syrup you want. I'm using Fox's Ubit. It's accidentally vegan. Um, Hershey's chocolate syrup is also accidentally vegan. Just read the ingredients on your favorite kind of syrup. I'm, it's probably more than likely like corn syrup and chocolate flavoring. It's probably accidentally vegan as well. So make sure this gets all stirred up nice and good. It comes together super fat. Oh gosh, look how chocolatey that is. Oh God, that looks really good. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pop this into the freezer to chill for a little bit. This, we're not making the actual frosty now. We just, because we're making this in an ice cream maker, Chilling it will kind of give it a little bit of a head start, but it's only going in for about 15 minutes, like I said. So when you put that into the freezer, take your plant-based whipped topping, your third ingredient, out of the freezer, and that gives it a little time to soften up. So 15 minutes to let this chill, 15 minutes to let this soften up, and you're good. And that's your th three ingredients, chocolate syrup, oat milk, and plant-based whipped topping. And that's it. As an 80s kid, I just thought Frosty the Snowman, the Christmas special, had been around since the beginning of time, but it actually came out in 1969. And of course it was based on the song, Frosty the Snowman, which came out just 19 years earlier in 1950. You may not have realized this, but the song doesn't mention Christmas at all. But of course, by the time they got around to producing the Christmas special, Santa was there, poinsettias were there, and the Christmas vibe was in full force. And of course, now here we are 50 years later, and Frosty the Snowman is as much a part of Christmas as gingerbread cookies and presents. Lots of presents. All right, my plant-based whipped topping is nice and soft, or actually soft enough. And this is a 10 ounce tub of plant-based whipped topping. And I do think it's interesting how it just kind of deflates <laughs> when you, because that is not 10 ounces, but it's you start with the 10 ounce container and then it is what it is. Okay, and then we're gonna pour in our nice and chilled oat milk, chocolate oat milk, I should say by this point. Yum. And then we're just gonna start stirring and you don't have to have this fully incorporated. We wanna get it, like let's say 50% incorporated before we pop this into our ice cream maker. And the reason why we don't have to have it fully incorporated is because that paddle in the ice cream maker is gonna do some of the work for us and get it nice and mixed. All right, here's what I mean by good enough. It's mostly incorporated with a few little chunks of the whipped topping in there. That's perfectly fine. And now we're gonna pour it into the tub of our ice cream maker which is nice and chilled. I usually leave mine in for like two or three days to get it super, super cold. All right, that's good. And then this goes into here. Oh, so good. You are gonna be tempted to just eat it just like that. And you should totally give it a try because um, it's amazing. And then this ice cream maker, it's really easy to put together. There we go, everything's latched. And then remember, this is a Frosty, our Frosty Frosty. It is not ice cream. So I want you to watch this like a hawk. Frosty the Snowman is a Rankin Bass production and you're probably most familiar with Rankin Bass because of their 
stop animation Christmas specials like my favorite, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. But Frosty the Snowman is a straight up cartoon and I really think it's withheld the test of time because it's beautifully done. I think you could freeze frame Frosty the Snowman at any given point and it's beautiful. It looks just like a Christmas card. My favorite part of Frosty the Snowman is the very beginning when the narrator talks about how that first snowfall of the year is so magical and it really brings people together. And I'm a true believer in that. I see one snowflake out there and I automatically get in a good mood. And I really hope that, you know, every snowman in the neighborhood will magically come to life and come play with me. All right, this is where you gotta start watching your ice cream maker. Look at that. Wendy's Frosties are kind of signature whipped, but they've got some iciness to them. And depending on how strong your ice cream maker is, that can go quickly from this kind of consistency to just plain old chocolate ice cream, which isn't bad, but we want this to be a Wendy's Frosty. So I'd say this has probably only got about three or four more minutes. And I started this probably about 10 or 11 minutes ago. By the way, this is my Koji ice cream maker. I did a review of it, and even though you know and you can probably already tell I love this thing, I did a full review on video, and I will post that link down below. Oh, only three more minutes. Oh, and how cute is my Frosty? And my Frosty. And Frosty. Happy birthday! You could totally use this for your birthday. I said that because if you know the show, then you know that Frosty the Snowman says, Happy birthday! Anyways, this is my vegan Frosty Frosty. And just so you know, full disclosure, I have not had a Wendy's Frosty in like 30 years. So, oh my gosh, sorry. I had to get that little bit on the side there. I did test this on a seven-year-old. It is completely seven-year-old approved and approved by people who have had Frosties much more recently than I have. But I gotta taste it again just to make sure. Mm -hmm. You guys, oh my gosh. You know, I know we put half a cup of chocolate syrup in there, but this is not overly chocolatey in any way. But it is creamy. It's got that right amount of whip in it. And it's got that right amount of iciness to it too. Not like ice cream at all, not like a milkshake. It's like a frosty. That's what it is. So delicious. So I did want to say I mentioned Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer earlier in this episode. I have a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer vegan peanut butter cookie recipe that you've got to try. I'm going to post the link to that video down below. So this Frosty, of course, is perfect for Christmas in July. And I just read, as I told you earlier, that, you know, Frosty the Snowman came out in 1969. Well, Wendy's introduced this Frosty. Well, not this one. This is the vegan one. But, you know, their Frosty in 1969 as well. So sounds like great synergy to me. But anyways, this is the version. This is the Frosty Frosty you want to be eating in Christmas in July. So to all of you who celebrate Christmas in July, Merry Christmas. To all of those of you who celebrate vegan delicious food, happy vegan and go make this frosty. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Oh my God, I'm so sick. How do I go a year and a half without getting COVID and then the first time I eat in a restaurant, I catch a cold?